Today, renewables are absolutely competitive. Hence, subsidy schemes such as feed-in tariffs are on retreat in basically every important market for renewables. PPA therefore became an increasingly um, important instrument in order to secure long-term visible cash flows. The basic aspects of a PPA are covered within the question, who delivers which power volume, when and how, to whom? This aspect refers to the counterparty risk, which is implied in basically every contract. Um, let's start with the off-taker which can be a utility or a corporate. As we are talking about multi-million contracts um, for a long tenor of up to 10 years or even longer, we need to make sure that the off-taker can cope with its payment obligations in such period of time. So therefore we need to look at its financial standing and if the financial standing is not satisfactory, we need to think about additional collateral such as parent guarantees or other third party guarantees. On the other hand, again, the off taker will want to make sure that also the generator can cope with its delivery obligations and might also uh, request collateral. This refers um, to the volume and uh, profile risk implied in every PPA um, and is particularly crucial as renewables are an intermittent source of power generation. The most convenient structure for the generator is of course an as-produced PPA structure with no fixed delivery obligation at all, similar to a feed-in tariff. However, such a structure usually comes with a discount on the power price. So, more common in the markets are indeed PPAs with a um, firm um, volume and profile delivery obligation um, within a certain period of time. Um, regarding the timing, um, the baseload contract uh, with an hourly delivery obligation is the market standard, but we also see other um, structures in the market. Again, for us, um, it is very crucial to find the right balance between securing cash flows versus um, entering into delivery obligation in order to, to have a, a sound and healthy PPA structure for our projects. There are basically three possibilities. One is a physical delivery, so-called uh, behind the meter structure, um, where the generator is directly linked to the off-taker. Such structures so far are the rarest uh, in the market, um, which might change in the future as we see uh, microgrids and storage involving. Second, that is the standard case, is that the off-taker and the generator are um, connected via the grid, which can be seen as a huge energy pool where the um, generator feeds in the power and the off-taker consumes the power and the settlement uh, in such a structure is also done financially, but there is an indirect link between off-taker and, um, and generator. Uh, last but not least, um, what we also see are so-called virtual or synthetic PPAs where there is no indirect or direct link between off-taker and generator. Um, such a PPA has the character of a sheer derivative. As always in business, um, the devil is in the detail. Um, but in principle, PPAs are no magic. And if you have made up your mind about every single aspect uh, in the question, who is delivering which power volume, when and how to whom, then you have covered basically um, all material aspects and you're on top of things with regards to your PPA.